vision for this project dates back two decades for a project that had so many unknowns and uncertainties. An adaptive reuse mixed income project helped save this. Collaboration with the City of Jersey City and the New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance Agency was essential. Being able to provide a mixed income facility such as Whitlock Mills is critical to allowing Jersey City residents to remain in their communities. It is a comfort to still be able to have affordable options. The diversification within the community is something we strive to achieve in our communities and our properties as well. We've preserved the original industrial core. We've even preserved some of the view sheds and the streetscapes that existed in its industrial prime. Most importantly, the Manning Avenue streetscape, some of the last few cobblestone streets in the city. The project also has a pretty robust program of amenities. We have converted half of the old powerhouse building to serve as a community space, not just for residents, but also for the public. We've engaged Greater Hudson County Boys and Girls Club to operate a childcare facility focusing on science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And we're going to be able to serve between 50 and 60 children well into the future. We have the on-site courtyard that will serve as a multi-purpose gathering space with playground, when it comes to integration, we also have a connection to the planned Morris Canal Greenway, which is along the backside of the site. We've got a nice pedestrian plaza that will connect Whitlock Mills to the larger community and other parts of the city. So Whitlock Mills, as it exists today, preserves that spirit of neighborhood integration by introducing a variety of housing choices, pedestrian connections, on-site open space, and of course the retention of neighborhood character. We always try to provide financial and economic support to these communities as we know that they trickle down to truly impacting the residents in the area. So we're using a late 19th century, early 20th century industrial setting, look to the past to springboard into the future. It's more than just bricks and sticks. We want to build community, we want to build skills and enhance the lives of our residents. And because of this, we have a more inclusive, well-rounded community.